Hello and welcome. I am PK Graf, and I want you to check out my presentation on instructional technology reflection video. So again, my name is PK Graf. I'm an instructional designer at the Academies of Creative Education. I'm also a STEAM content specialist where I focus on computer science integration. I'm also the general manager of Forsyth County Esports. I'm a community leader with NACEF, the ne uh, Network of Academic and Scholastic Esports Federations. We are a worldwide organization in dozens of countries around the world. I am also the director of Ghost Gaming Academy, which is a branch of the professional esports organization in Atlanta, Georgia called Ghost Gaming, where we have dozens of content creators, professional gamers in games like Rocket League, Valorant, Call of Duty, and um, Apex Legends. And I wanted to give you all of that because that's my story. Um, that's where this uh, pivotal central question lives. Have you ever wondered how technology can transform education. And by the end of this presentation, you know that that's where I am at. And that is why I chose instructional technology. I believe in using advanced technological tools to help education move into the 21st century. And so through my learning and growth in this program, um, the main thing that I want to point out is, was my capstone project, uh, which was titled Fostering Resiliency in At-Risk Students Through Scholastic Gaming. It was an amazing experience that taught me that there is so much more to be learned from video games than just the content and gameplay itself. Subsequently, that led me to publish two books, uh, a huge piece of growth for me. Um, Esports is Community, you can see here, uh, and then Mindful Gamer, um, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, obviously, my Fostering Resiliency Research Project uh, or Capstone Project was a huge, huge uh, piece of growth for me, as well as my uh, work with NACEF um, through a game called Farmcraft, which we'll talk about as well. So some major accomplishments. Um, as a part of this program, I wrote a grant proposal. It was like a practice project. And I said, hey, um, you know, I wrote this grant proposal. I wonder if I could like actually get this grant. And it's really actually unbelievable. But up here, this gold, uh, I put it as my gold medal, if you will. Um, I was awarded a $268,205.35 grant. I, it makes me like blows my mind every time I say it locally funded and it is to outfit 13 to 15. It just depends on, you know, to what extent, but basically 13 to 15 gaming labs will be seated across Forsyth County schools because of this grant. Um, silver medal here, uh, second place is my esports is community book. Um, that was a huge accomplishment that came from my capstone work. Um, as well as my Mindful Gamer book, which is a product of my capstone work. Um, coursework and field experience definitely hit hard on the capstone already. My technology integration grant project, that's the grant that turned into $268,000. Mind-blowing every time. Professional learning coaching sessions, which is the main function uh, as a general manager of FOCO Esports. And then the ACE data review. So Academies of Creative Education data review. This is probably the most impactful piece of coursework for my school because of our data dilemma. Real fast, we don't get the same reporting as everybody else. Uh, hands down, field experience was the Farmcraft initiative um, that I did with Forsyth Virtual Elementary. Why utilize me as a technology facilitator? I think it's clear by now. Integrating computer science and K-12 education, my ability to get and fund grants. And then over here, you can see these are, this is a gaming computer that I'm building with a student. Long-term and short-term goals, uh, complete the implementation of my grant, 
um, and then short term, uh, sorry, long term goals, continuing to use my program as a model for worldwide scholastic gaming and esports. And then I really want as a long term goal to formalize my capstone project into a dissertation with a doctoral program. And lastly, conclusions, I will leave you to read this, please feel free to click pause. Um, I have a lot of goals and a lot of growth. And the number one thing is that I want to take that fostering resiliency and at risk students through scholastic gaming capstone and formalize it into a dissertation uh, for a doctoral program. So that is where I am headed. Super excited and over five minutes, but that's okay because we're making things happen. Uh, it's just out of sight here, but I always like to end my videos with as always, stay positive out there, gamers.